Hi Aries, thank you so much for visiting my channel. My name is Tori. Um, you guys, this is going to be a general love reading. Um, I will be posting this for June 15th through the 21st. But of course, this reading is timely. So whenever you stumble across this video, it's when you are meant to receive the messages. Um, you guys, keep in mind the energy is fluid. So anything that I mention here in this video could be something that has already happened. It could be happening right now or it may happen in the future. Um, please keep in mind that, of course, the outcome is going to be dependent upon your free will and the free will of your person. Okay? Um, in tarot or in energy, of course, there are no genders, so he could be a she, she could be a he, and the roles could always be replaced. If this is not your story, this could be the story of someone who you are dealing with. Okay? So, Aries, I'm just going to kind of get an overview of what's going on with your card here. <laughs> the full card. Maybe you guys are considering taking the leap of faith into something, but let's just find out what is going on, and we will kind of focus on the energy of your person. So you guys could be dealing with a Libra, Taurus, or Virgo. I have the Empress card here. Okay. Here's the Hermit card, though. So it looks like in the past there may have been something that um, you guys were pretty stressed out about. I don't know if you guys were stressed out about a, an offer. You didn't know if the offer was something that was stable enough for you at that time. With the King of Pentacles being here. But here in the past, in the center, we have the Nine of Swords. Okay. And also here I have the Four of Swords. And the Six of Swords. Okay, so I feel like there's definitely been a, a pause. You guys have moved away from a situation. I feel like maybe um, you decided to go within yourself and get yourself out of a particular situation. I don't know. I'm just feeling like there could have been um, something related to finances here. I almost feel like you guys, like, you may have wanted to pursue some new venture or something and maybe you just found that a relationship with a particular person was a bit too stressful at the time yeah i see the devil card here yeah there's there was some toxicity here in this situation with the fool card yeah but there was an ending here either an ending or you guys are in separation with someone right now due to a lot of toxicity i think that you guys just kind of decided to go ahead and take the leap of faith and do your own thing or this could have been, to be the person that you're dealing with or your person could be dealing with someone else and that's what's happening in their relationship um of course you know you shouldn't force the message if it's not for you but um i can see there's so many different ways right now i feel like for some of you um I almost feel like right now you guys are actually interested in someone, okay? You may have gotten yourself out of this particular situation, but you are very interested and attracted to a new person. I don't know, did you guys meet someone at work? I almost feel like you guys may have had like a friendship or something with someone at work. You could have been in another relationship where things were just starting to kind of go south and... You guys may really be looking at having a new beginning with a friend or someone that you work with, but there's a strong connection to this person. You're very, um, you're very much interested in this person romantically. That um, there's a deep emotional connection already between you and this person. Something very different or, or mystical about someone that you may be interested in right now. And it may have started off as something with the Knight of Wands here and the Seven of Pentacles. It may have started off as something that, you know, was very non committal You thought that it was just super casual. But you guys may actually be considering now putting your, your efforts into this particular situation or this is someone with you. I don't know. I just feel like perhaps you guys may have come out of something recently that was really stressful. You met someone not thinking that it would be much to to happen but it's actually come turning into a quite serious relationship here 
It's almost like it was a faded connection. So someone just appeared in your life and it's going really well, but you certainly didn't go looking for this particular person. Yeah. In the future position though, we have here the page of cups and the ace of cups. So there is there's a huge offer of love that's being made. Either you're doing this or someone's offering something to you. Okay. But here with the five of pentacles, the judgment card and the six of wands, I just feel like I, for sure, I really feel like there for someone out there, um, because this message is quite specific, someone is falling for someone that they work with. Okay. But for others of you, there's a decision that's being made here. Some of you, um, some of you could have even been on a break with someone and you could be reuniting with someone from your past. Some some of you may be leaving a situation to go towards someone from your past. Or Aries, this is the person that you're dealing with. They are leaving someone that they're dealing with to come towards you. You and this person, maybe you've been in separation. Um, this person has gotten to their wit's end in another situation. And now they are making the decision that after a period of separation, they're ready to move forward with you. Okay, this person wants to come in. They want to apologize to you for juggling you. Okay, after balancing the situation out. And now they want to offer you this love. Okay. And I just saw the Ten of Pentacles. So it seems like someone here is ready to offer a more stable and committed type of relationship. I'm almost feeling like maybe, you know, before it was sort of like it was just a flame with, with you and another person. It wasn't anything that was really serious. And now all of a sudden, after some type of breakup or something, you or this other person are really, really considering being in a romantic, um, exclusive like relationship. That's what I'm getting here. So... Let's just jump in and see what's going on here. Yeah, someone is holding on to someone. I feel like you guys have your eyes set on a particular person. There's someone that, that you know or a connection that you have. Maybe you and this person, like I said, you may have separated. Or it was someone that you met them and they never really turned into much of anything. But the idea of being with this person... It's something that you can't let go of. And I feel like your first opportunity, you're going to go back to this person. Okay. Yeah. This connection makes someone really, really happy with this Ten of Cups being here. The Ten of Cups with the, the Two of Wands. Yeah. Some of you, it's like this person, they feel like they have everything except you. With the nine of pentacles. Okay. Yeah. But like in the past with the king of swords. Someone, yeah. The king of swords just came out here with the three of swords. So I feel like in the past, someone had to tell you the truth about maybe a third party connection. Maybe they didn't tell you the truth about it. But someone is seeing the truth in this, this situation now. And someone wants to go ahead and, I think, heal from whatever was going on in the past. Yeah, this, this person, um, this person, I, I think that they're quite determined to actually be with you. I, I feel for many of you, and I know that there are always cross watchers, I feel like I may be talking to the person who is actually the, the third party. Um... Some of you have someone, though, that is coming back in to offer you a, a new beginning of some sort, okay? This person wants to come back in. Exactly, yeah. This person right now, they're trying to walk away from another situation. It could be walking away from, like, a family situation. This person is walking away from something because they feel, oh, yeah, definitely. There's a breakup here. There's a breakup happening, Okay. With the tower card and the eight of cups. I don't feel, um, even with the tower card being here, I don't feel like it is something that is sudden. I feel like perhaps someone has been in like an unhappy relationship for quite some time. 
and now they are deciding to really just hit the kill switch on it. Yeah, someone may have been married before in the past. Okay. But not only that, I feel like in the past, perhaps, especially if this is someone that you were dealing with before, um, whether it was a, a really, you know, solid, committed relationship or just something that was more casual. Someone, though, has found the truth in the situation, and I feel like they are absolutely more tapped into their higher selves now. This person, they, they know what they want, okay? I feel like after a period of healing, maybe getting over a particular heartbreak, um, releasing a third party or something, this person now wants to make an offer. Okay, but I feel like someone may actually be just trying to put their feelings out right now to see how you feel because they know that there has been some deception. This person is a, they know for a sure fact that like perhaps they have deceived you in this connection. So they may come in sort of casual, slow and steady. But I do feel like if you haven't talked to this person, you will get communication from them. They're probably going to be telling you, you know, that they have walked away from another situation and they're healing. You know, they really miss you. They, they have these deep feelings and emotions about you. I'm sorry, I didn't make any signs. You guys could be dealing with Scorpio, a Taurus, an Aquarius. Really, all of the signs are all here. Yeah. It's like this person had to purge something from the past. They had, um, that was prohibiting this relationship from moving forward. That may be the thing that they want to communicate about to you. Okay. Yeah, this, this person wants to be with you, though. Someone wants to offer you a, a commitment. Yeah. There, some, something here is, is coming to an end of this conflict, this confusion that this person may be dealing with in another um, connection maybe that's coming to an end mm -hmm. yeah. in the past seriously, this, this person like they, they see you as their person okay, I don't know what happened, but this person Especially when they are more in their, I'll just say, divine, feminine, or masculine energy. Their eyes are set on you, okay? But there has been this profound growth and change in this person. With the emperor here, this person also, like, they are um, taking the lead. And, I mean, clearly, this Aries, this is your energy, Okay. You guys are really stepping up to the plate here and you're taking the lead in this situation. You're willing to make this situation work. However, you have to make it work or this is the person that you're dealing with. Aries, you guys could be dealing with another Aries or a fire sign, but someone here is definitely trying to be very assertive right now. Okay. I feel like someone is not going to be afraid to speak their truth or to get the ball rolling here at all. It's funny because just as I say that, um, the Eight of Swords comes out. But I, I feel like this person is coming out of the mental conflict. Yeah, exactly. Ace of Swords. Whatever mental conflict this person may have been in before, if they were juggling if they were unsure, if they weren't as confident about this connection, they didn't really know what to do. I feel like this person is getting like universal truth and clarity. Whereas it's, it's like now they have this enlightenment where they know for a sure fact that like you are the person that they want to move towards. Mm. This person is manifesting you back into their life. They feel like they have everything that they need and they can offer you everything that you need. But this person right now, they're they're walking away from another situation with this page of wands. They're trying to get a, a plan of action together here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> the page of wands with the chariot. I mean, this person is is charging towards you. Okay? Aries, like, you guys might as well expect 
not just a phone call, this person literally may knock on your door because this person has gotten up the strength and the courage to move this whole, this situation right along now. Mm -hmm. They've been working on um, offering you a date, a proposal. You really may not see this coming because it probably has taken this person quite some time to make their way to you, but it's because this person has been um, really, really planning the perfect way to approach you. But this person now, the planning is over. They're about to take full action, okay? You guys absolutely may be dealing with another fire sign. Aries. Or well, like I said, um, if you're cross-watching, this is an Aries. Dealing with you. This is definitely Aries type energy, though. So I, I don't know. Like I said, I could be reading for you, for the person that you're dealing with, or you could be dealing with an Aries. And this is how they may come towards you. But this is a very fiery, very determined type of energy. This is someone who is not at all afraid to communicate or take risks. I feel like this person right now, like, um, they're coming in and they want to make you an offer that you absolutely will not be able to refuse. Yeah. It's like they're cutting through all of the BS. They're leaving nothing here to imagination, to chance. Like, this person knows exactly what they want. Yeah. And this is what they want. They want this Ten of Pentacles with you. For some of you, I'm, I, I feel like this person could be coming in, letting you know that like they want to marry you. I'm not saying that this person is coming in with a pop-up proposal, but this person is going to express to you, I feel, that like that's what they see with you. So let's see, how does this person feel? Wow, exactly. Ace of Cups. This, this person that, like, I, I just hear, um, <laughs> I hear Beyonce song, Love on Top. You put this person's love on top. Like, this person, they don't see anything else above you. And, and it doesn't matter what situation they're in or that they've gotten out of. None of that matters. This person is all about you. Okay? How do they feel about the relationship? Pay the tips. They're coming in with this offer. This person is coming in with an apology as well as an offer. Like I said, for some of you, there may be wedding bills. I mean, or at least just a, a major commitment. What is the blockage here? We have the two of pentacles. So this person has been trying to keep everything together, okay? There could have been another person here or a particular situation that they were judging, but even if it's not just a person, this person, I feel, is just looking for balance, some structure um, in their life right now. Because this person wants to present themselves as the best version of themselves, honestly. The potential outcome, yeah. The temperance part. This entire situation will be balanced out. Like, you really should just have um, trust and faith in this connection and in this offer. Because it's absolutely coming. I feel like you and this person, um, there is like a divine spiritual connection between the two of you. But this is all based on divine timing as well. Okay. I feel like you guys have had to have a lot of patience in this connection. Mm -hmm. The judgment card, the ace of cups. Yeah, this person has made their decision. It's you that they want and they are offering their love to you. About this connection here. This person is, a, they're sorry for leaving you out on the cold. This separation is not a separation that they wanted, but I feel like this is a separation that, that has actually served you all quite well. Because if there was any doubts in the past about whether or not you guys wanted this connection or if this person wanted to be with you, you that's out the, the window now. This person absolutely wants to be with you. So, here for the, the potential blockage here, the Two of Pentacles is clarified with the uh, Six of Wands. Now, Six of Wands is all about victory and success. However, I feel like with this person, if you notice like on this card, this person, he's coming coming back perhaps like from war or fighting some type of battle or conflict. And this lady is there waiting on him. I feel like this particular person 
that you're dealing with. They've been battling so many different things. They've always wanted to come back to you, but they really had a lot of things that they had to take care of, that they had to balance out before they could come to you. And they just hope and pray that you will still be waiting for them. Not to say that you guys are just sitting around waiting for this person, but they have always hoped that you would still be available when they were able to wrap things up. But I feel like this person has put in a lot of work when it comes to balancing different things out in their life and ending certain situations. Anything that was a blockage or barrier for this connection, they have to cut those things out. And um, honestly, the biggest factor here I feel has just been timing. Oh, wow. Potential outcome. Yeah. It was all about divine timing. This steady offer, um, this solid offer, the Ace of Pentacles, this is like a, a golden opportunity, but I feel like even Spirit had to guide the two of you back together. There were some things that you had to do individually before you could come back together. But you should absolutely be prepared for um, someone to make a, a major offer of love to you, okay? This person wants to be with you without a shadow of a doubt. So, I am just going to pull from the Romance Angels book and close this out. This reading was very, very straightforward. <laughs> like, very straightforward. I feel like this person, though, um, I'm just looking here at this Knight of Pentacles. The page of swords. This person has been slow to come in and they've been watching you from afar. And that may be the reason why, you know, you've had some doubts or even some fears about the connection. But, you know, this person just was, there were some things in the background that this person had to handle and deal with. So, Romans Angels here, for the past position, I have the flirt card and past life relationship. It says you have known each other before and extend your lighthearted energy to others. See, as I said before, and I, I feel this strongly, this was a connection where I feel the two of you, you just had an instant connection. Okay? This may not even be someone that you've been in like a committed relationship with before. Maybe you just casually dated. But there was something very, very special about this connection. And it's because like there is a past life connection. You know, there's a strong bond between you and this person. Yeah, definitely. This this person, they, they just feel like the two of you fit together. And you may have started out, like I said, very casual, just having fun, flirting with each other. And it turned into something, but perhaps this person had something else, you know, that they had to work on another commitment another situation but when you cross this person's path they knew right away that they wanted you in their life and that they did not want to lose you so if you've been in separation this separation has not been easy for them so right now we have pay attention to the red flags and calling in your soulmate says your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together and the signs are cautioning you I feel for myself that what I feel strongly here, and I know for some people they're like, oh, red flags, you know, it may be something bad. I feel like you guys need to be careful right, right now with thinking negatively, okay? This is not a time that I feel you should be very um, pessimistic. I really feel like you should hear this person out. With the heart-to-heart -heart conversations here, card, honestly discuss your um, feelings with each other. I feel like this, this is a soulmate connection that you have. A lot, everything that you want is here in this in this connection. I just think that it, it got started. It started out rocky or it's sort of like it ended before it actually got started. And here in the future position, we have give your relationship a chance, okay? Let your friends help you. So before you guys jump off the deep end or you become very negative or pessimistic or you think that this person is lying to you or whatever pay attention to the red flags but give this person an opportunity 
to actually present an offer to you or to just tell you the truth, okay? Give your relationship a chance, you know? And it says here, it is safe for you to love. So, you know, this situation will be different for everyone, but I absolutely feel like it is worth a chance because sometimes you see people and they will come in because, you know, the grass just wasn't greener on the other side. This person, I feel, is pretty genuine. This person that you're dealing with, Aries, they had something that they needed to take care of. You came into their life and they they were not looking for you, okay? That's, that's what I'm getting here. This person was not looking for you at all. And you came in and literally just flipped the world upside down. And they, they had to make adjustments. To be with you, they had to make adjustments. And I feel like they've made those adjustments or they're in the process of making those adjustments so that they can connect with you, okay? But there is definitely something spiritual, something divine, and something beautiful that could come out of this connection. But divine timing is absolutely a play here, okay? Oh, wow. <laughs> I just happened to just pull the car here, and what I get? The Wheel of Fortune with the Three of Pentacles. Like I said, this person is working on getting back to you, but it's all about divine timing. This was a faded connection. Absolutely. It was it was definitely faded. It was destined for you and this person to meet one another. And I feel um, that it's destined for you to, to come back together. You know? The situation will be different for everyone. Even if it's just, you, you guys may want closure on why things have to end before they get started. There is some type of connection between you and this person, though. And I definitely feel like it's worth exploring. With the Ace of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing. All about Divine Timing here. So, be prepared for an offer, Aries. Um, you guys, I really hope that this message resonated with you. If it didn't, um, please be sure to check other videos that I've posted for... Um, other signs in your natal chart, your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. You guys, make sure that you always go within so that you never go without. I really appreciate you stopping by. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and until next time, love you so much. Bye.